Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've got the last concealer for Concealer Week today. We're gonna to be talking about the Dior, Dior Skin Forever Undercover Concealer. I have it in the shade 20 light beige. So you know the drill. If you are interested in watching me apply this to my face, give you some feedback, do some check-ins, give you my final thoughts at the end of the day, then just keep on watching. I can't believe this is the last day of concealer week. I can't believe I've gone through, I think maybe eight concealers. Anyway, I basically picked up ones that I was interested in trying and also ones that you guys suggested. And this is one that you guys suggested. So if this happens to be your first video with me, welcome. I am 44 going on 45. I have a very general sort of dry sensitive skin situation. Skin around my eyes is no different. I have very dry under eyes. I suffer from fine lines and a general sort of sallow discoloration around my eyes. So that's the background on me. And then just to give you an idea of how I like to do these uh, concealer reviews is I try to put down a light coverage foundation so that we can see what the concealer is doing versus what the foundation is doing. And I try to just powder one eye without powdering the other one, just to kind of see like, does this concealer need to be set down? Does it move during the day? If I find during the initial application that it does crease or do anything weird, I will just go ahead and powder both eyes. And then I'll generally do a wear test that lasts around between seven, eight hours, sometimes much longer, but never shorter than seven hours. I don't think anything shorter than seven hours is that useful. So I think that's all the background information I wanted to give you before I jump into this uh, review. So uh, let's go ahead and open this up. I still have it in the box. I hope this shade works. I really should have checked that. Here's the packaging. Nice frosted bottle. It says Dior on one side, Dior Skin Forever Undercover Concealer on the other. And the shade seems to be fine. I'm usually like the second shade up. So I think this is, yep, just a traditional doe foot applicator here. Nothing fancy or unusual. And let me go ahead and swatch this for you so you can see the shade. So there is the shade. I'm sensing a little bit of peachiness in here and that's great for correcting. The texture of this is much creamier than the YSL All Hours Concealer. That one I found to be pretty thin, but it's definitely creamier and like a more fluid consistency than like the Guerlain or the Bobbi Brown that I tested. So this seems to be a nice kind of middle of the road concealer consistency on the creamier side. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my right eye and I'm just gonna use my finger to blend it in and we'll see how that goes. Oh, that blended in nicely. Oh, I should mention that I do have moisturizer and foundation down. So the foundation I picked for today is the La Mer Reparative Skin Tint. Again, something with not a lot of coverage um, so we could really get a sense of the concealer. Um, so that's what I have down underneath this concealer now. Oh, this looks nice so far. So far it is, I think, kind of doing a little bit of like a camouflaging effect underneath my eyes there. Not bad. So this is telling me, there's actually not that much information on this box here, but it says as a description here, one coat camouflage, everlasting concealer, and that it's waterproof. You know, actually what this reminds me of, this reminds me of one of my longtime favorites. It's the Chanel Longwear Concealer. That's what the texture and the coverage reminds me of. If you guys are fans of that, I'm a huge fan of that concealer. I've talked about that ad nauseum over the past year and I really like it. Ooh, this is really nice. Uh, so let's do a quick close up here of um, it applied to this eye and then this eye is bare or it just has my foundation. So if you have a similar skin tone to me, I think this is a good shade match. I don't think it's necessarily like brightening. This is actually just a very good kind of like skin match to the rest of my face. All right, let's go ahead and uh, apply it to this eye. I was gonna try a wet sponge, but now that I read that it's waterproof, I don't want a damp sponge or the water in the damp sponge to kind of, I don't know, it may do something weird. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a brush and see how that goes. I am gonna use my um, Trish McAvoy Deluxe Blender Brush. This is the brush that I purchased to dupe my Armani blender brush. This is sable hair, and I know most people think it's too big, but I just love it for concealer. I love it for under my eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. So let me apply some straight to my under eye here and my lid, and I'm gonna go ahead and pounce that in. 
I feel like the texture of this application is the same as my finger. It's very smooth. I feel like it is doing a great job camouflaging. I just feel like the coverage is a little bit light. I think the brush kind of sheared it out a little bit. So I'm gonna add just a hint more, just so I match a little bit better and use my finger to blend in. All right, so far I'm loving this. Let's do a close up now that I have it applied to both eyes. I think it looks really great. I love the fact that it's like doing like a blurring, camouflaging sort of situation underneath my eyes to cover up my fine lines. And I like this shade on my skin tone in terms of it not being like, you know, too overly brightening. I don't feel like it's too peachy that it's like a little bit obvious. I really like this. And it's drying down nicely that it's not especially tacky. Nice, so I think what I'm gonna do for this one is I'm only going to apply powder to one eye. I don't feel like I'm seeing it crease or do any like kind of strange like movement in any way. So I'm just gonna powder this eye and then we'll be able to see during my first check-in like how the unpowdered eye is holding up. So I have my Chanel Natural Finish Loose Powder here. I've been really liking this powder for my concealer tests. I've been changing it up a little bit depending on what brand I'm using, but this one is a nice kind of like standard natural finish no bells and whistles, kind of like straight up awesome powder. So I've been using this a lot during my tests. Uh, let me find a brush that I want to use. So I've been like systematically trying to go through all those brushes that I haul during my Japanese makeup brush haul. Um, so I can give you guys like a follow up haul on these brushes. So today we're gonna be using the Chikahoto GSN4. This is, I think they call this a highlight brush. I think I prefer this much more for blush, but I think this is also great for around the eye if you just wanna do like a quick pouncing. So I just picked up a little bit of powder and I'm just going to pounce onto this eye. All right, I think the concealer still looks very nice here. I still see that kind of blurring camouflage effect underneath my eyes. I was afraid the powder was gonna kind of like dry it up and make my under eye look a little more wrinkly, but I think the concealer is kind of holding its own, so that's great. But here is a close-up comparison of the two eyes. So with powder, without powder, and really the only difference I see is finish. This eye just looks a little bit more matte than this eye. All right, so far so good. It is about 8.30 in the morning now, so I started about eight o'clock, and I'll be back early afternoon to give you my first check-in. I'll see you then. Hey guys, I'm back. It's about 12.30 in the afternoon, and I was just taking a look at my eyes, and they look great both eyes, the powdered one and the unpowdered one. I am super happy with how this concealer is holding up. I still feel like it's camouflaging the fine lines under my eyes. I don't feel like it's starting to look dry or cakey in any way. I don't think it's separating. I don't think it's doing anything funky. I am really, really loving it. I feel like it looks the same as when I put it on and I like it just as much as when I put it on. And I hope you guys can see what's happening through the camera. It is good stuff. So I haven't done much since I put my makeup on. I've, um, I've just been working. So I think this afternoon I'm gonna have to go out and run a couple errands. So maybe we'll have a little bit more to talk about at my final check-in. So I'll see you guys in about another five, four and a half, five hours. See you then. <laughs> Hey guys, it is about five o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm here to give you my final thoughts and do this final check in here. So I was just taking a look at my eyes and I think my under eye and everything like looks really great. And I was like, wow, you know, like the fine lines still look really camouflaged. I don't feel like they look dry at all. And then I kind of like placed my mirror further back and I looked at myself. And I think what I noticed at that point is I feel like it's faded. I feel like the coverage isn't really there. Definitely not as much as this morning. And I really took a close look. I think the eye that I didn't powder is a little bit more faded, but the eye that I did powder, that's still a little bit faded too. I wonder if you guys can see that through the camera, but I just feel like I see a little bit of that sallowness under my eyes. I thought maybe um, it was like maybe my mascara or a little bit of my eyeliner that has like smudged down, but that, it's not the case. It's like, it's like down here 
where I feel like I'm seeing just a, a bit more of my skin shining through than a lot of the other concealers that I tried. And sorry, I'm just looking back on this box here. There's like really no information on this particular concealer, although I mean, it's just a concealer, so what can they say? But it does say that it's everlasting. I mean, everlasting would imply forever, and this is also called Your Skin Forever Undercover. So I would be under the impression that this should really have some like serious lasting power, but I do feel like it's faded a bit. I did run an errand this afternoon. I was out in like 111 degree weather. It is very, very hot here, but it was dry. So I wasn't particularly sweaty. I wasn't, you know, like schwitzing. It wasn't like humid out or whatever. So I don't think that had anything to do with it. Yeah, I feel like it's faded just a bit just a bit. I don't think it looks horrible. I don't feel like I'm at the point where I have to run and either like wash my makeup off or like do a major touch up if I'm going back out. I think that the texture is really nice. I feel like it blended nicely with my finger. It blended really, really nicely with the brush. I think it did a great job camouflaging, which that it is definitely still doing. While the coverage may not be there, I still feel like my lines look diminished. What is that? I still feel like my lines look diminished. What is that? That is so weird. It's not blood. I'm not wearing this color lipstick. Anyway, so that is my only, only like minor, minor complaint about this concealer is that I do feel like it has faded a bit. Other than that, I think it's great. It feels great. It doesn't look dry. It's camouflaged my fine lines. It did no creasing. I mean, this is the side with no powder and it looks fine. It doesn't look like it's moved. It doesn't look like it's creased. The only thing is I think it's faded a little bit more than this side with the powder, but this side faded too. So I do think that this is a great, great concealer, except for that minor thing. I hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope that you enjoyed concealer week. I am definitely going to kind of sit down with all the concealers that I covered and, you know, write down some notes and give you like a concealer week roundup video like I did with the loose powders and just talk about the ones that were my favorites, the pros and cons of each, if there were cons for any of them and definitely keep an eye out for that. So I hope you enjoyed this whole week of concealers and definitely let me know down below in the comment section if there's like a week long category that you want me to cover too. I've done foundation, loose powder, and concealer. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on that. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you in my next video.